Um, but let's say we want it in uh, Jinja, we should be able to run that. Do we want to ask the AI to search for anything? We can say no, and it's just going to run through our notes. I am going to be going through a program or a little AI chatbot that I have been working on. It is not complete because I have a, a lot of notes and I've just gone through a few pages of notes and kind of organized them so the way I could create this chatbot. I can ask it for a specific payload or maybe a payload in Windows or some other program, and then it will actually tell me all about it and it will spit it out here for me. So I decided to create this program because as you guys know, we have lots of notes, at least I have a lot of notes, and sometimes it can take me 10 minutes to go through all these notes in order to find what I'm looking for. So I decided to go ahead and create this program to go through my notes for me, and then if I have a question about something that's not in my notes, then it'll go out and use the OpenAI API key. I have it set up so that it will return for me payloads or information about payloads that I specifically need. My hope is to show you how the program works and then also how you can add your own notes into the program and then you'll be able to use this with your own notes. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so this is the code. You can see it's not super long. Uh, it's about 140 lines. You can see over here that I have the CSVs that we're going to be searching through. If you use this program on something that's not Kali Linux, I do have a script in here that goes through, I believe it is right here, Searchsploit, and it's going to grab information from Searchsploit. So that is something you'll have to be aware of. You have have to come up and change your API key right here but I think if you want to add to this whenever you add a CSV you will only need to add I think about four to six lines of code it's pretty simple if you're wanting this program I'm going to go ahead and upload it to github the link is down in the description and I'll make sure to have all this stuff commented so you'll know exactly what you need to add in order to get this to work but let's go ahead and run the program. So if we run the program, come down here and it asks us to type something in. We can ask for, uh, let's say we want an SSTI payload, um, but let's say we want it in uh, Jinja, we should be able to run that. Do we want to ask the AI to search for anything? We can say no, and it's just going to run through our notes, and it's going to say a basic Jinja injection, and we can see right here, this is what we would use if we're looking for code execution and we want it to run. We could grab this right here. Also, inside of SearchSplit, you have a Jinja 2 right here, and if you wanted, you could grab this file off of the Kali Linux machine, and you could read it. So I did try to color code things, so let's type in, um, let's try Eternal Blue. And I don't think I need a space in there. And you'll be able to see that, uh, let's see, and maybe we can just run blue. No, um, you're gonna see that we have a bunch of payloads, but also when we search through Metasploit, we get our results in green. And one of the things I really like about Metasploit is it actually tells you what the payload is gonna do. So you can go through and read right here. So I tried to color code things. Let's try to ask the AI for some kind of payload. So let's just go ahead and say, what are payloads for Jinja 2 and SSTI? And then we'll go ahead and ask the AI. It does have to make an API request, so it is gonna take a second for it. But I did try to color code this right here. So that way it would be a different color. So you get the basic payloads as well. There's other things you can ask for, and I tried to make it respond with less than five sentences, so that way everything would come back pretty simple. And so let's say, can you give me five exploits for Jinja 2 SSTI? And we'll go ahead and send that. Let's see if we can get a little more than just this line right here. It actually didn't give us any exploits uh, this time. So that's interesting. Usually it will pop out a few ex a few more exploits like it did up here. Okay, so I went ahead and asked for five more payloads because I just realized that when we asked for five exploits, we just asked for five exploits. So it's gonna say like, here's different things you can do. So I went ahead and re asked it. I said, can I get five payloads? So this time it actually gives me five payloads and we're actually to see, this is just gonna test if there is template injection. This is gonna give us the attempt to read file. So that is how the AI works. It'll actually give us back payloads. I guess we just need to be a little more specific in saying that we wanted payloads instead of saying we just want five ways to exploit it. And then it'll print it out in purple. I'm not real sure why I have it sending this back. I really just wanted it one time in purple. I'm gonna have to go back and try to edit the code because now that I see I'm getting it in two different ways. But this is really cool. I think it's really helpful because it saves a ton of time of having to go and search for it. So if I wanted, I could just ask it for reading the Etsy host file. Instead of saying, give me five, I could say, hey, I just need an SSTI payload for Jinja that's gonna allow me to read the Etsy host file, or at least 
least attempt to read it and then it will just give me that one line of code. I don't have to go search for it. I can just leave this program running here. I could probably just open up a blank command line and I can run my program. So just python3 chat.py and bam, it's running. I can just leave this open and I can come over to other tabs and I can do things over here. And so I can be doing this. I go, man, I need to search my notes. Come over here, I have a question, ask the question. I get the output that's gonna look exactly like this because it's the same program. So AI is in purple, Metasploit is green, my notes are blue, and then Searchploit is red. So we have this little chatbot, it is super helpful. But that is how you use the AI, and you can kind of see that I have the color coding. And my notes, I believe, are blue. The AI notes are pink or purple. And then the Metasploit is green. So that is how the program functions. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. If you would like me to upload this once all my notes are in CSV, which could be a little while, um, I'll remake this video and you guys can use that code as well. So if you have any questions or any ideas on how I can change this or upgrade it, please let me know down in the description. Thanks for watching.